got some Detroit Lions news and rumors for you folks today. We're going to talk about John Penicini retires. What does it mean for the rest of the defensive line? As well as media is going crazy saying Lions could be playoff bound. I'm going to give you my two cents on that bad boy. Chris Board, underrated. Could this guy be a diamond in the rough free agent pickup? Possible. Jared Davis, he may not make the roster. We're going to discuss all this and more. But before we get into today's video, if you're a fan of taking an ice pick, jabbing it into your eye, and then taking a hammer and hitting it and hitting it and hitting it until it goes all the way through back your skull, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we took all things Detroit Lions news and rumors. Sometimes being a Lions fan, you can lose sight and get a headache. Also, take that like button with you and let that bad boy get nailed in. Let's get into today's Lions news and rumors. A lot of media outlets, a lot of personnel that deals with the Detroit Lions is already giving... Our GM, Brad Holmes, a top 10 nod of GM in the NFL, thinking this guy is one of the best general managers in the NFL. And look, I'm not going to have an issue with that because he's done a phenomenal job regarding getting talent acquisition from drafts in the last two years. He's done a good job sticking with his plan building through the draft, and you know how much I enjoy the idea of building through the draft because that's how you build a long, sustained roster if you do it correctly. A lot of personnel love what Brad Holm is doing, and I can understand why, I'd say, this guy is a top 10. I like it. I love it. I love hearing positive vibes from our leadership, and of course... I'm going to say, ah, I agree with that one because I really like what Brad Holmes has done regarding the draft, and I love how he's building this roster. But that's just me. Do you believe that the Detroit Lions are playoff bound with Brad Holmes as GM? Brad Holmes specifically bringing talent to this Lions roster. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think on this? Are the Lions playoff bound? Why for yes and N? Or no, John Penasini, Lions interior defensive lineman, retired over the weekend. And a lot of people would like to know why. Well, he didn't show up for mandatory minicamp. Last year, Penasini had an injury. He's dealing with some golf ball issues on his shoulder and on his area there where he was going and working through a lot of injury. From what I'm hearing, his retirement is more than likely dealing with injuries he has sustained with his time, not just probably through the NFL, but, you know, throughout his whole career playing football. Remember, being a individual that plays a physical sport like that, your body gets beaten up throughout the whole time. We all understand that. If you've been in a physical sport or you've been in the military or a job that is really physical, it wears and tears on you. I have no issue with athletes retiring early if they feel that their health is going down a bad direction because you have to really look at the big view for a body. You have to look and understand that they're not just thinking about the now but what you're going to be like when you're 40, 50, and 60 years old. For example, for me, my body is beat up. It's tore up from the floor up. I love being in the Army. One of the reasons, there's multiple reasons why I decided to leave the Army after eight years. One of those reasons because my body could not sustain the physicality of the Army anymore. Getting injured, getting wrecked, back hurt, multiple surgeries. At some point, your body breaks down and you have to look towards the future is this something that I can withstand? And clearly, that's probably one of the reasons why he decided to retire. And absolutely respect that decision. And I wish him nothing but the best. What does it mean, though, for the defensive line going forward? Well, we had a great competition at the defensive line position. A lot of quality players. We were wondering who's going to be out. One of the players that I suggested was John Penasini. Now, I suggest he be cut, not retire, but it makes sense because such a good defensive line, there's going to be someone 
that is valuable that is going to be leaving the team. That's just what happens when you build a good depth. Just like we're talking about Brad Holmes there. So, John Penasini is on the outs there. There could be other individuals that leave as well because the depth is so good. You know, Michael Brockers, you know, players of this nature that end up not being there, but it gives more opportunity to the players that will be here, and that's always a good thing for the development of those said players. Like when Joshua Pascal gets in there, he'll have a little more rap. Levi and Zurich, Aileen Mendale, we go through all of it, as we know. So the development is there from more time on the field in training camp, in preseason, and we we see these guys get a little bit better from there. Let me know in the comment section, though, because we're going to be talking about the linebackers. Will Jared Davis make the 53-man roster? Let me know what you think. Why for yes and for no. I think it is questionable. We're not hearing a whole lot about him. Other linebackers are doing better. We're going to talk about those linebackers. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Now, when I was in the Detroit area this weekend, got to speak to Lomas Brown for a minute. Lomas Brown says that he talked to Jonah Jackson, the rank in the Detroit Lions offensive line, like in the preseason rankings at three. Jonah Jackson was so hyped. He said, we're going to get the offensive line to number one in the NFL. What do I think about this? I think it's possible. You know, if they stay together, the offensive line, it's a very dynamic group. It really is. From top to bottom, even depth, the offensive line for Detroit is freaking good. Will they be number one? I don't know. We'll see. But I can understand them being ranked three right now, and I can understand why Jonah Jackson, I'm sure the rest of the players in the offensive line, are super hyped right now. And if you've seen Lomas Brown, he was loved it. He's exuberant. He loves the offensive line, clearly, because that's where he played. The Detroit Lions offensive line is sound. And that spells really good news for the, le the rest of the Detroit Lions offense. If you have a sound offensive line, if you have a sound trench, and trench is for a team, that's how you win football games. Because you got to be dominant up front with the big uglies. That's that's really what it is. You know, that's how where it starts is up front. They don't get all the credit in the world, but they deserve a ton of credit because they open up holes for the running game, gives the quarterback time, and if you're on the defensive line, it gives quarterbacks less time to stand in the pocket and clog holes, etc. So I think it's possible, and I love the hype from Jonah Jackson. Chris Board has been showing out for the Detroit Lions. We picked him up in free agency. We kind of just thought, eh, he's a player right now that, that could be special teams in depth. But he's been showing out in OTAs, showed out in minicamp. Yes, we're in pajamas right now, no doubt. But it's good to see him show out. We need to have players that you don't expect elevate their game. And especially with the Lions linebacking core right now where there's a lot of question marks. Who's going to man that bad boy? Right now, Chris Board has done a really good job. I love seeing it, but I still want to see in pads. I still want to see them in preseason to really give you know credit where credit is due. We've seen many players throughout the times do well in practice when they're not in pads, but when it's game time, they kind of fall off a cliff a little bit. So it's promising for Chris Board. If he does show out, just like you're talking about Jared Davis, it could put him on the outs because you're going to want to see more of the younger players like a Malcolm Rodriguez or like a Derek Barnes. Obviously, Alex Anzalone isn't going anywhere. I can understand that. So keep it up, Chris Board. Really excited for you. Folks, if you like to like make a little bit of money, Go to chessboards.com slash lines. Bet. bet on MLB, folks. There are some games out there. Great way to make some extra cash. It's better than a scratch-off ticket. The odds are better. It's better than a casino because you're using your own smarts right there. Chessboards.com slash lines. Bet. Promo code lines125. 
I woke up this morning and a lot of people are talking about, can the Lions make the playoffs for the 2022 NFL season? Man, that Kool-Aid is really flowing. This is the time for the Kool-Aid. Got the Kool-Aid man breaking through walls right now for the Detroit Lions. I understand it. The hype is there. It's definitely better than last season. Last season, we all kind of knew it wasn't going to be good. This year, the hype is real. Had another good draft. You're in year two. Everyone's looking a little bit better in the scheme you know, with Ben Johnson and compared to Anthony Lynn. The defense is year two. A lot of people are getting healthy. Better roster from a talent perspective. Understand it. Totally. Still want to simmer the expectations a little bit. Got to understand. We got to play the game first. We have to win football games, and there is a ton of teams that are good as well. You look through the NFC West. The whole NFC West is good right now except for Seattle Seahawks. That's three teams right there. Dallas Cowboys, pretty good. Philadelphia Eagles are pretty good. Green Bay Packers are pretty good. Minnesota Vikings are pretty good. A lot of good teams in the NFC. It's not like the AFC where it's completely stacked. But still some good teams. And for the Lions, they would have to have a better record than those teams. So simmer the expectation a little bit. Let's see the wins accumulate. You know, if you think the Lions are going to make the playoffs, hey, more power to you. You have the right to think what you want. If you're a, a person who thinks the Lions are going to be absolutely cheeks and go 0-17, you have the right to think what you want. It's all about the Detroit Lions themselves changing their perspective and them winning the games. And them doing the work. It's not our job to do the work. It's their job to do the work. Folks, in the upcoming videos, we got many videos dropping. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, One Pride Podcast. You know it all. Every single time on my channel, 6.30 p.m. Drop videos on LNU as well. So check LNU out. Make sure you follow me on social media sites. With that said, folks, adios.